Hello traders, welcome to this uh, live webinar. Thank you for joining here on this 8th of December uh, 2020, last month of this year. And uh, yeah, we're going to talk uh, a little bit about my fix book in general and uh, some, some special offer that we have from one of our uh, partners or, or sponsorship offered by uh, a partner. So that could be interesting. Otherwise, I don't have much news to to you know, to to indicate. Maybe if you have any questions yourself, feel free to reach out uh, through this chat. Of course, if you're looking at the recording, uh, feel free to reach out to our email. Uh, generally speaking, uh, our automated trading sessions, you know, look at the results. Of course, of our automated trading uh, systems. At this moment, we have four EAs on our Elite Currency website: uh, Zeus EA, LOA EA. And uh, from Mislav Nikolic, we also have Rush EA and uh, Ultimate EA. Uh, but we did that, uh, we looked at the results already last week, so nothing really new. You know, one week is, is not much uh, in, in trading purposes, or in, so it doesn't make much sense. But yeah, I think that generally speaking, though, it's always good to find uh, a balance between uh, multiple EAs and multiple assets and multiple trading styles and, and investment styles. Uh, so diversification is always uh, useful. So certainly uh, recommend that, you know, trying to uh, spread the risk among uh, some of the EAs or maybe even all four of the EAs. And that's also one of the reasons why we continue to work on our own, on more EAs, our, our uh, EAs like uh, SWAT EA and Black Widow EA. Uh, so those may be coming soon as well. Uh, and there's another EA that uh, Carlos created, the programmer that is working with us, called Let's Dance, and might be available uh, soon as well. Uh, so yeah, those those are things that we're working on at the moment. So let's move on and take a look at my own Ultima EA account. It's getting at the end of the year. Uh, as I said, we did an update last week, so nothing new. Uh, nothing much to discuss at this moment. It's up about 8.8%, my own account at least. And uh, yeah, since uh, basically now trading for 15 months, one year and uh, three months, and uh, the gain is 556%. As you can see, this is the time-weighted return that measures the performance uh, of a dollar invested in the system since inception. Okay, so it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's basically... Uh, you know, looking at different time frame, the, the amounts invested over different time frames have no impact on the return, whereas the absolute gain it depends on uh, the deposits. So uh, the gain is is more uh, indicative of if you just took one sum of money and left it there. As far as I understand, what is the gain? So it's it's a bit more uh, precise, in a sense. Absolute gain. You know, is is more how much is made when depending on how much you deposited and withdrew, I think, and then redeposited, etc. So sturdy gain, as you all know. But of course, uh, as well, the last six months have been uh, slow, as you can see in this these ups and downs, and many people are in negative. So that could be frustrating and, and requires patience, of course. Uh, but in any case, the main message what I wanted to tell you was that you can follow these MyFX book links. Just go to our profile, uh, Elite Currency. There we go. That's the link right there. MyFixBook.com slash members slash members slash Elite Currency. And you'll be able to follow all of our systems and also see this backtesting of our strategies as well. All in one handy spot. So here you can see the uh, the gains uh, of all the systems. UCA plus 43 and a half. Uh, Ultima EA profit share plus 1.4 at this moment. Rush EA plus 23. So CA uh, profit share model 16.3. My own Ultima 556. ECS uh, LOA is down 10 and 19. And uh, ECS Live Seagulls plus 29. So that's a very useful uh, overview. And uh, if you then click on each of these links, you can follow those links. You can watch it basically. Uh, let's see how to do that.
add to watch this is the green plus button in the right upper corner okay so that's how you can uh, follow this particular account and monitor it very useful okay so that's a good tip right there um, Otherwise, what else to say? Uh, yeah, one thing I wanted to mention with the ZUCA, by the way. Let's see. ZUCA, we can take a look at this one. Is that you will see uh, negative pips right here, as you can see, as a total. So some of you might be uh, thrown off by that or you know, not understanding that. And I can imagine the thing is that uh, it makes small losses with it makes losses with small uh, lot sizes, but it compensates that uh, with bigger wins. So what happens is that you might get ten losses of uh, I don't know uh, five pips, right? But uh, then or, or five losses of five pips, but then you might get uh, two wins with ten pips uh, or, or two two wins of fifteen pips and your net already in in um, no it's the other way around sorry the pips are negative excuse me uh, calculation mistake so let's say you have five pips loss in five trades right so uh but the lots the lot volume the lot size you know it's only one micro let's say whereas with the other trade you have five micros you win uh eight pips but of course, the volume is bigger, the lot size is bigger, so that the average win, uh, the, the actual money you win, outweighs the losses you lost with those five losses. So that's why this, this negative pips can be negative, right? These pips can be negative. But despite that, the account itself is making profit, as you can see. Okay, so that explains that, that difference. Okay? So nothing to be worried about there. Uh, steady as it goes with the ZUCA, as you can see, up 43%. And uh, well on its way uh, to, uh, to getting the, to the 50% mark there. Maybe even this month, let's see. Or otherwise, probably next month. So that's another thing I wanted to let you know uh, that was on my list. All right. Third thing I wanted to let you know was that we have a special uh, sponsorship from Monfex Broker. Uh, so they're offering this to uh, to anyone who has starts an account uh, with Monfax uh, through Elite Currency website. You get ECS Live if you open an account, fund an account, and start trading. You get ECS Live for six months, 100%. It's a special offer from them, or 40% discount for Susie, the sponsorship, uh, the sponsored Conquer version, or uh, LOA EA. You get 50% off the. Offer is valid for UK, Spain, Colombia, Chile, Panama, and GCC countries. So, not from countries, you know, outside of these, uh, these, uh, this group of, of countries. Okay. Uh, keep be aware that, uh, of course, uh, you know, the offer is limited. Uh, I think up to the first. Uh, no, I think it's up to February, end of February. I think, if I remember correctly. All right, so check it out if you like. Uh, if you're looking for a new broker and you want to uh, or diversify or want to try it with a small account, then there's some nice extra perks here available. Okay. All right, and yeah, if you're looking for more trusted brokers or if you're looking for a review of Monofax, you can see that right here in our broker page, providers, brokers. You see more brokers, and you can click on these arrows to get more information about uh, about each and every broker uh let's see anything else on my mind that's about it at the moment i don't really have much to to share um those are a couple of few points that popped in my mind during the week otherwise i didn't see any questions in our form so feel free of course to use the form uh to ask questions beforehand i'll drop the link now in uh, the webinar do you have any questions for those that are on the live webinar? Do you have any questions right here, right now? Hi, Ali. Good to see you. Any Anything that pops in mind? 
for uh got maybe a question for you actually for ultima ea you know a, a system that can really grow aggressively at times of course not all the time uh but we have seen uh, some sturdy spikes to the upside uh, with this ea specifically not all eas can do that so ca doesn't have any strong spikes it's more like slow and steady as it goes ultima ea of course has a disadvantage that it can be slower at times but it could also show some some sturdy spikes uh at moments and specifically you can see that on my account because it's been trading longer of course so let's go to that so my question is for an aggressive um trading style like this you can sometimes get drawdowns into the 50 55 percent zone uh considering you know the the potential for uh for this ea to grow um do you, what kind of drawdown do you think is uh yeah is is acceptable uh to you right is is 50 55 percent perhaps too much what would be an acceptable drawdown for an aggressive kind of account building approach as ultima ea is uh, here you can see for instance the uh the potential profit it could make on average in backtesting in in about three years so for that kind of aggressive approach what kind of back what kind of drawdown do you think is acceptable because i have a feeling that 50 to 55 percent is just too much for uh most of the traders out there but uh it's just my guesstimate and i was curious what you think yourself not only for yourself but also what you think is acceptable for most other traders so let me know if you have any particular you know a uh, view or thoughts uh, on that particular drawdown aspect okay otherwise uh yeah my own ea uh the most of the rules are finished uh, and have been coded into the expert advisor and into the uh yeah basically into that uh code and um, now we're testing if all the rules are working as they should if all the rules are visible are all the rules you know playing out as we want them to to play out right is the ea behaving as uh, as our rules stipulate and uh and then we'll work uh on uh, um, more testing right more in and out samples walk forward testing uh, more back testing um, etc maybe changing the rules a little bit what the, what what elements of the rules work well what elements are maybe weaker so we got a lot of the fine tuning and, and work to ahead of us but so far uh, we managed to catch some errors remove those so i think we're working very or you know we're working steadily and getting closer to a version that uh, is is close to being the let's say uh, final not the final version but a version that we originally had in mind and then the question is are we still going to change that which probably is going to be yes um but of course the first step is to have an ea that uh, that works as it was intended to so that's step one we're getting close to finishing that part at least Claudia says, I would freak out at 60-65%. And yeah, that I think it's uh, a lot indeed. I think that, uh, you know, it's always easy on paper to see 50-55 and say, okay, seems okay to me. But once you go through through it in real, real life trading, right? And once you, um, yeah, once you try to experience that with your own real money it feels a little bit different and it's definitely more difficult of course it depends on how much capital you trade in ea with i mean if you trade something with small capital then probably doesn't feel as as kind of as as scary maybe of course if you trade it with more substantial uh capital Let's say if you uh, if you just trade uh, with two euros, right? 
for most people, at least, two euros is not much, right? And uh, if you if you go through a 60% drawdown, it would not scare you, right? So, um, but of course, if you're looking at trading bigger capital, that 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 is uh, definitely something that would scare anyone, I guess. So, the CA was really meant for for risk capital, but uh, yeah, it's it's always tricky. Uh, generally speaking, I agree that I think it's too much for most traders, and uh, I. Th- I personally think that uh, risk uh, traders that accept risk probably 40% should still be okay. Whereas traders that, you know, dislike drawdowns, I would say max 20% probably. Those are the levels. I think are probably the most appropriate for uh, a large group of traders. Now, some might, might not even accept 20%, of course, but then I think that if you can't accept 20% or at least 15 then probably trading is not really for you, I think, I suspect, because then you might really want to look into more conservative, I think, personally, just my two cents, more conservative ways of uh, investing because... Um, yeah, such drawdowns are, are quite normal for for forex trading. It's difficult to make returns if you cannot get a drawdown of, of at least uh, at least ten percent. I would say, right, if not fifteen to twenty. All right. Well, thank you for your feedback, Claudia, and definitely agree that uh, that those levels are are, are yeah, in most cases, too much for um, any kind of serious capital. Uh, except maybe some real um, practice money or or so indeed um yeah so interesting debate of course and always uh, if you have anything uh, else to, to add about drawdowns let me know i was just curious what you thought but yeah we're working on uh yeah creating uh another ea now so far my swat ea results are generally uh, the drawdown is quite good but the results resemble more like the LOA EA I'm looking for an EA that could create better results than that though Uh, and at the same time keeping the drawdown lower throughout the the testing period uh, aiming for uh, at max 40% as I already mentioned because that's what you know the, the level I think is acceptable and let's say yeah um, convenient maybe or or i don't know for lack of better word uh so that's kind of the my mission is to get a better return you know pretty good return maybe not as probably not as high as ultima to be honest but that said more spread out results and, and lower drawdown so so that traders have a little bit more choice because Ultima EA would then be really uh, for trying to boost the account with big big um, big spikes, right? And of course, it doesn't mean that big spikes will always happen. As you can see, the last six months, of course, we're, we, we didn't have that. Uh, only once we had a move up. Let me show you. Uh, here we had a, a little bit of an uptrend between uh, mid July and beginning of October, right? A little bit at least. Uh, so probably won't have that many uh, uptrends, but I'm, yeah, I'm looking for a little bit of a an EA that can fill the gap between, let's say, the steadiness of this EA, but also the profit potential of Ultima EA, somewhere kind of in between there. That's what I'm trying to uh, to create, but of course, it also depends on. Yeah, the system itself, how that uh, will behave. Let's see. All right. So I guess that's it. I don't want to take too much of your time because I, I it's all I wanted to mention. Thanks for joining. Thank you for being here. Wish you all great trading. And uh, tomorrow I'll be back with a Your Dollar Pound Dollar video. And see you soon. Cheers. Bye-bye.